What is up everyone and welcome to yet another video. We on that Monday, Wednesday, Friday grind. So if you can respect that hustle, thumbs up this video. But what Good. we're talking Good about point. today is the three big changes in the Kindle publishing world in 2019. Now there are a few things, or there's actually a lot of things within publishing that remain constant, that were a certain way in 2013, that are a certain way in 2019, and will be a certain way for the next five, 10, forever in publishing. Things like having a good eye-catching book cover, having a compelling book title, publishing books about topics that people actually care about, things like that. But there are three big changes in 2019 that publishing has gone through that we really want to talk about in this video. Now, before we get into it, I want to introduce a very special guest that will be joining us to talk about the topic you may know who he is, you may not. I don't want to reveal it. I'll just let the sick edit take care of that. Let's just roll to it. Who is it? Alright guys, let's get into it. But before we do, I just want to just acknowledge this big black man sitting right here. <laughs> I, I want to say Fuck. Like, I don't, don't give a fuck. Understand. He's so big. He's He's so big. How much so do you weigh? In person? 210? Uh, like 207. 207? 207. Yeah. How, okay, how much did you weigh like a few years ago? Like 135? Like, no, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> We're putting up some before and after pictures. Before, and then we'll take a picture, an epic one to show off your muscles. Like it's fucked. He's the biggest guy I know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know who he is, he has his own YouTube channel as well about publishing. It's a publishing channel, right? It's not a publishing he channel. It's not a publishing channel, it's but it's totally a publishing not. channel. I just talked about publishing on it I, a lot. We embrace our channel being a publishing channel right now. Well, right. So right now. Okay. Right now it is a publishing channel. Semantics. But okay. All right. Okay, go enough, subscribe yeah. to his channel if you don't, if you haven't done so yet. Card right there for it. How do you guys do this? <laughs> It's magic. Now, real quick, before we get into it, let's just give him a proper introduction. Tell about yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start publishing? Let's start there. Same time we didn't know earlier. No, um, August 2016 is when my first book went live. That's about, that might be the exact same month I started. Literally. Literally. Two August, and a half. Really? August 2016. Two and a half years Crazy. Ago. Yeah, so Almost it first three. took off in like there. December 2016, but that was Bro, my first book. Bro, same. I get, I get to make money. K Money I, Mastery? K Money Mastery. August 2016? Yeah! Let's go! Shout out to K Money Mastery. <laughs> so, um, but what kind of publishing numbers have you achieved like in the past? Uh, what is this in the Beko Sai interview? Yeah, well, just quickly. Yeah, like, consistently we do anywhere between seven to $12,000 uh -huh. each month, right? Yeah. So, if we looked at the average of 2019, we're probably right around nine to 10 grand. Nice. Right. Which is a shitload of money. Life changing amounts of money. Insane. Oh, totally. Yeah. Like, I used to look at, like, you know, nine, ten grand, like, a month. It, you, like, we used to, like, Rich. oh my God, if we could only do that, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's a, like, now we look at it, it's obviously a lot different. But you just level up. Yeah. But, yeah. but no, it's saving for a house. It's paying for the range. Yeah, paying it's for the Range it, Rover. It, it's the get, range. It, let's throw some things up there. Yeah. Okay. It's, um, um, but simply, that's just the power of publishing. It, it is. Right. It's, it's publishing has completely changed my life, family's yes. life. The same way it has for us yeah. and a lot of other people. So let's get into what this video is actually about. The three big changes in publishing in 2019 and going forward. So the first one we want to talk about is Amazon ads, previously known as AMS ads, now known as AA ads or Amazon advertising ads. And it's changed a lot recently. Yeah. So it's changed so in terms of like the platform itself, like the competition how much you need to spend to get impressions, but also it's literally changed platforms. It was AMS ads, now it's Amazon advertising ads. Like it's it's like in the past like month or two, they've changed everything. And yeah. regions, like where you can place the ads. Yeah, it's okay. Changed. US, I don't UK, even know and about Canada these as well. You don't even know that yeah. I exist. Yeah. Like UK and Canada ads are like the most profitable, profitable like ones. You just, Canada just got either display or sponsored ads, I yeah. can't remember, like last week. Yeah, and also I don't think people, I don't think there is training out there from the, of the new No, there isn't, yet. There, is, there, there isn't, there isn't yet. exist. Not so basically, the right? updated stuff. What I want to say in this video, bring to your attention this big change, this new Amazon ads platform, uh, and basically just to tell you to do your research and learn all about it so that you're the first one on this platform so that you could be like, what's it called when you're early to like a party? A trendsetter? Kind of like a trendsetter. Early on a trend sort of But thing? yeah, or being early on a trend, which is 
is this new Amazon ads platform. So you do need to go heavy into this right now, not just applying it to your business, but just learning a shitload about it. And that's currently what, that's what I'm doing right doing. now. That's like my biggest focus. And it will of course be in our new course. So that's actually what Rasmus has been spending a lot of his time doing. Yeah. Learning these in this entire new system of Amazon ads. I've basically dropped everything else and focusing just on this. Yeah. This could be a whole different video, but like your productivity levels when you focus on one thing plus others, never mind that. But yeah, I just want to become as good as I can at that and then also teach it in the new course a 2.0 which is really Link the big reason the big reason for it but the big thing that i think has changed with amazon ads not like the ads themselves but kind of how it works is that in the past like you can't go organic anymore you can't go all organic and expect to make 10k a month like you used to do you can you but can literally do it yeah. yes more but, but you would literally be an idiot to not take advantage of amazon ads. Yeah. Yeah. you'd be an idiot like if it's not a focus of yours you're losing money you're, you're or, or you're, you're leaving you're money on the miss, table yeah you're missing out yeah leaving money you're, on the table yeah. which is like the worst thing you could do in a business now on to the second change that we've experienced with publishing 2019 is the quality of your books right you cannot get away anymore with publishing shit books yeah, yeah. that's you, how it was back I mean, in you literally could in 2017 like why would why spend all the time and effort to make it super good if you could just slack and still yeah. get great results now it's like, fair you now know? quality of your books has to be literally the number one focus of your publishing business yeah. because once you start or if you get any bad reviews like if you just, you won't just get one. If you get one, you'll get more. Yeah. So if you get any bad reviews, like your book dies off. It goes to the publishing cemetery. That's how like publishing ah, income bro, dies. I got the best story about that. Please tell us. So in back in the in September 2017, and I launched this book. I knew it was going to do big because I knew the market launched it and I got overconfident and totally misjudged the the content of the book mm -hmm. like I just I did I wasn't checking it closely enough mm -hmm. we're and, all guilty of it and went in there and the content was just so basic and once again took full responsibility for it and like I was literally refreshing the page I'd have like and more. two three four one star reviews Fuck. by refreshing the was it getting a page. shitload of sales oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't even fucking sell them like hotcakes yeah. but like there I, I, I remember like that that's probably the biggest like lesson I learned yeah. in just quality control and after that we 10 x our quality control I fired that guy and like we, we we've probably redone that book like three four times right. but like Literally, it cost me probably eight to ten grand on launch. Fuck yeah. me. Because that, yeah. yeah. Well, look, what you said, it comes back to those two words quality control. Yeah. You need to control your own quality and not just publish everything. Yeah. Like, you need to have a high standard for the books that you're publishing, or else, again, you're leaving money on the table, or you can take it a step further, you're throwing money out the window yeah. with that. I just want to say that back in 2016, when you published a shit book, you would still get bad reviews, right? but there were no other options for people to buy, so they would still buy your shitty book. There was a reviews. fraction as many options. Like, like they, They're like, tenth. well, this book is about what I want. It might be bad content, but I have no other At least choice. I can learn right. about it. I can learn something at least. Right. Right. But now in 2019, there's like, there's gonna be at least 10 different options of that same book yeah. on the market. If yours is bad reviews, they're going straight to the ones that don't have that. Yeah. A yeah. big reason why people were publishing shit books back then, uh, like we said, let's just be Inadequate honest. training. Inadequate training. Like, yeah. I don't, in K Money Mastery, 5K word books. Like, but it worked back then in 2012, sure. 2013. Yeah, not like, 16, but tw yeah, 2012, 2013. Right, like it worked. Like but that, that 5K was... is not a book. That's a long blog post. So we right. always say 30K word book. But I guess people were making money with it back then, but the point they is were. you can't now. Yeah. You yeah, can't make it, money with 5K it's, word books anymore. Oh my God, no. And just because it's 30K words think... does not mean it's good enough either. Right. There's, it needs to be a certain length and then also have like, be very informative. I wish we could show people what a 30k word book looks like. It's up in the room. Just to show you, like, this is a real fucking book. 150 pages, like, it has weight to it when you throw it on the ground. I, mean, I can like get that. it real quick. Can we do that? Let's we'll do that real quick. Run, go to the room. Are we going? There it is. Here's there it the is. Book. All right, Whoa, show a mecca the book. This, this, is just, this is just a real ass book. It's a mecca has not seen a KDP print book yet. No. Let's show everyone oh what it looks like. Oh my god. 30,000 words. Five by eight. This is really good. You see that thing in the bookshelf? You're like you'd never know. No, this is legit. Like, wow, their their quality is so much mm. better than what CreateSpace used massive to be. Massive upgrade from CreateSpace. Massive upgrade from CreateSpace. Like, I got books back, and it was all at even. And really? Like, it like was wrinkly. Just, it was shit. Yeah. Like the texture, the attention to detail, 
all yeah. this. Well, like, that's yeah. that's on the cover design. I that's, know, but the fact that it could be printed. Yeah. So, no, they did so a really, well. really, really good job. Do publish high quality like this book. Uh -huh. So this was actually written by Laura, Ress's girlfriend, and it's just a really good book. We'll put a link in the description if people want to check it out. My mindfulness movement journey. Shall we move on to the third point? Yes. Let's let's let. And Mecca, take this last one because you have the most okay. experience with this last. And I've thing. learned yeah. this from you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And that's publishing off of Amazon, mm -hmm. utilizing platforms like Ingram Spark, Google Play Store. I haven't done Lulu, but I've heard great things about Lulu. And just like Draft to Digital, um, just utilizing other platforms because having all your eggs in one basket. Let's say your account gets your account from Amazon gets closed. Even people who never, who seemingly never break any rules, like Amazon will find something, oh, you did this. Like it doesn't even have to be legit or not. Well, it's Amazon sandbox. So exactly. They, they can make up the rules. They pull the plug whenever. Whenever so, they want. like never get, don't get too comfortable ever, even if you're like being super vanilla about everything. Yeah. It's so, bullshit, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So just having um, income sources from there because it does a couple things. One, it gives your business more stability, more security, but it also gives you, and this is what people don't realize, two chances to go for the coveted buy box on the Amazon page. I don't know anything about this. This is news to me. Right. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? So I come volley. <laughs> the buy box is when you go to the Amazon page and you click buy now. So whatever product is in that buy box is that's the buy box essentially. so it could be the one it could be for your product or it could be a third-party seller so because I have my books on different platforms I have the there's multiple listings for my book well, products but get this because Ingram Spark actually pays higher royalties than Amazon Ooh. I can have my book price like a dollar or two dollars less than what it's priced on KDP so that Ingram Spark will now take the buy box but I'll get higher royalties than if somebody buys the book from Amazon. That's fucked. This is some ninja ass shit. Yeah. That yeah. I didn't know about. I'm gonna that also shows how big right cuts Amazon's taking. Uh, oh, it's ridiculous. Fucking, uh, pretty, ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous. The big platform that you mentioned that we've never talked about before, Ingram Spark, yeah. which is like an aggregate publisher for paperback books. Yep. They do uh, ebooks as well. Yeah, e they do as well, as well, but the big one is but paperback. I just books. focus on paperback because who cares about ebooks? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, honestly. <laughs> So to show like that it could actually create a legit stream of income, how much have you made from Ingram Spark in a month before? I think just outside of Amazon. Last month was like, I posted it I think in your group. 4,000? Like, no, no, it was like just under four, like uh -huh. maybe 3,400 or something. Yeah. That's insane so, to me. Imagine that, imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine dollars right? Yeah, like it's solid. Like yeah. we're, we're happy with it. Yeah, and I mean that's full-time income <laughs> yeah oh my God. that's full-time yeah. income i know we don't realize people that people dream about making that yeah, yeah. like, like in a business and you just made that just from ingram spark just yeah. in throwing it up there and it's like it's there's additional steps you have to do to get it on ingram and like it's a little trickier but your customer support is about um 300 times better than amazon's nice because you speak to them. Fuck Amazon uh, customers. Yeah. Now, so the great thing is we will be showing how to publish on Ingram Spark in the new updated course. Everything step Everything. Step. Like, yep. like there is nothing that, that will be missing from there because yeah. it's about building the full publishing empire. Now, the last point I just want to make about Ingram Spark real quick is right, we said fuck ebooks, which yes, ebooks don't make much money compared to the others. But many people also have their ebooks in the KDP Select program, for example, which means that you can't distribute them anywhere else, even if you wanted to. But with paperback books, that does not apply to paperback books. There's no restrictions at all with those. You can sell them wherever you want. Every, so if, you, so if you're not selling them on Ingram Spark, for example, you're you're literally just you're literally leaving money on the table. All three reasons come back to that, leaving money on the table. So all three of these big changes that we just talked about, these are big changes that you need to keep up with in your business and also to realize that everything you're doing within publishing, it's much more than just publishing books. It's actually running a publishing business. Like things like running ads, worrying about like delivering the best product possible. These are not inherently characteristics of publishing. These are characteristics of building and scaling a business. And that is one of the big reasons, or I would say the main reason why we came to Cancun last year. It had nothing to do with publishing whatsoever. Now to quickly mention what Cancun is, you have a publishing event that you host in Cancun. Last year was the first one. Yeah. We attended it. We it had changed my life literally. That's not an exaggeration. Yeah. Not at all. But we didn't come. It is a publishing event, technically, it's in the name. Yeah. The reason we did go to Cancun last year was to one, we had an opportunity to speak, which was fucking awesome. First time ever. First time ever. But the biggest reason 
was honestly to meet all of the people that we had been talking with on the internet for the past one to two years. Yeah. Yeah. There were so many people. Like I built like most of my friends right now I've met through publishing. Like, yes. at, like yes. that might that's a little sad actually when you say it out loud. It's, it's sad. Not and sad. I, I, had, I, I had never met some of my best yeah. friends in person. Yeah. So that was the reason we did come there and that is why it fucking changed our lives. Completely changed our lives. That was like if you know me and Rasmus, we never ever 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 bullshit anything. We always just state cold hard facts all the time. And the truth is that weekend was one of the most life-changing weekends of our entire lives. And also one of the most fun weekends yeah. of our entire life. So what we did there, we launched our course for the first time. We did over $50,000 in sales in one day. We went jet skiing, we made tons of friends. We, I'll be honest, I was drunk for most of the four days. Yeah, yeah. I was, and yeah. I don't really drink much anymore. It's not because of that. But next Cancun, well, I will. Oh yeah, I'm, that's, once a year. Yeah, 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 once a year. Every Cancun, I'm gonna get drunk. But yeah, you're hosting the same Cancun publishing event this year yeah. in Cancun. The same September again. Is it the exact same week? No, it's a week before. It's, Who cares? It's, it's in September. Yeah, it's, September. It's dates below. So we'll be there again. Like, there's no chance in hell we would ever miss that. Like, that was too good of a fucking weekend the first time. And last year there were how many people were there? Twenty. Yeah, just under twenty. 20? I think seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. yeah, we were a small group. It was of people. a small group, man. Yeah, yeah. It was, but I became tight friends with almost everyone there. Yeah, but it was yeah. super fucking epic. Like, and what's the goal for this year? This year's a hundred. A hundred. Yeah. If we can get a hundred people there, that would be oh a dream come true for me. I want to say one of my favorite things is meeting other people in the space right? yes mm -hmm. and it would just be dream come true to meet so many of the other people out the there that out. i talk to yeah. and i hear from all the time yeah. right yeah. and we will Fuck, be i just want that i just want this to be real you know we will be talking on stage again last time we were talking yeah. in front of 17 minus 2 so 15 people <laughs> but it was still we were still shitting our pants yeah. like it, i think we bombed it who cares we, uh, that, we, but and just talking in front of a hundred people would be way bigger stuff for us because one of the biggest things we're working on is our public speaking. So I would love to talk in front of a big crowd. I think that would be fucking insane. Honestly, I just can't wait for this yeah. upcoming uh, Cancun. Can you give a little elevator pitch? Do you have an elevator pitch? It's Because we want everyone viewing this video, everyone yeah. who watches us, who's in publishing, to join us in Cancun and hang out for those four days and get drunk and do everything that we did last year. You said so much about it, but it's, mm -hmm. it's really, it's designed for people to come in as publishers and then leave as business owners. It's designed to show you that publishing is so much bigger than what you think it is. Like you, you sign up, you, you, you buy products from us, that's great, but publishing can open up doors to your life that you never even knew were possible and this event is going to show you exactly how to do that so that's like we have people coming in from from the uk from india from all Everywhere. over the state so far but like yeah there's literally people coming from all over the world already to this event yeah. and it's just it's 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 so yeah, it's what gonna you, be insane yeah what you said actually happened to us like we went into it super skeptical like, like very skeptical. At first we weren't gonna go, but then you called us up. And we're like, oh yeah, yeah. But we came in super skeptical. Like we were excited for it, but like we were wondering. Like, I already know Can everything. I already yeah. knew knew everything there is to know about publishing for mm. the most part. Yeah. So I was like, what will I get out of it? But in the end, the people like me and Rasmus got the absolute most out of it. Yeah. Meeting you, meeting Ollie, meeting Marco, meeting Juan, meeting Thad. These are just a few of the people that went last wow. year that we became good friends with. The reasons for coming are not on the sales page. Mm. It base, that's, that's very well yeah. said. The reasons for coming are not on the sales page. Mm -hmm. You're coming to get connected with people like us, with the Lip Fam, with people who are doing what you're doing, people who want to get the most from life, who don't want excuses, who just want to have the most epic life possible for themselves, for their family, for their friends, for whatever reason. But that's why you're coming to Cat Cove. I actually just remembered why I actually am coming back. Yeah. It is because of the resort. That resort mm. is fucking insane. Yes. Mm, mm, like mm, all you can mm. eat, all you can drink, everything for four days straight. I mean, you could literally order five cocktails from the pool bar, chuck take one it on out, your shoulder. chuck one on your shoulder, and go back and say like, give me five more. And then I'll do it like, again, and then pour them out. I'll be, like, be like, I got the bracelet, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. you still got the yeah. bracelet on. I'm not sure. That's <laughs> yeah. This is the bracelet from the resort. It's called the God Bracelet. <laughs> when you when you wear it, what's the place called? 
Paradisus. Paradisus. When you wear this in there, you can basically do anything. Yeah. All right, let's wrap this video up because yes. it's getting a little longer than we thought it would be. Yeah. We just talk a lot. And I really just want to end it on the point that if you want to come to Cancun to this publishing event that we'll all be at, please go down to the description. You could There's a sales page. You can check it all out. You could hop on the phone with Emeka. He'll yep. explain everything, like everything you need to know. You can learn more, comment, do whatever. But we're going to be there. We hope to see as many of you there so we can hang out and just do whatever the fuck we want yep. for four days in Cancun. So with that said, let's end it on the magic emoji. So if you watch this video to the end, spam that shit in the comment section for Cancun. Let's just do that Mechton flag. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Put your hand over the lens, will you? Will you, buddy? All right.